Can you give your opinion on which projected support levels to watch for Tesla in 2023, 2024? So this is an interesting one, like support levels. I'm going to change the question around a little bit. I'm going to show you where I believe my overall support level is for that time frame, barring any nasty black swans or something terrible happening. And also the layer out levels or hedge levels. So this chart here has a lot of stuff packed into it. And let me try and walk you all through what we are showing here. First of all, my MT, which means medium term support level for Tesla is 226. It's funny, I'm saying 226 when Tesla's trading at 190 right now. And it's out, it's above that level. But if you look at things like the 200 day moving average, where Tesla has come from, over the past couple of years, that 226 is kind of like my, my, my base base level uh, that I expect Tesla to get to before I'd even consider hedging. Now, the other aspect you see here is a couple of things. Um, and that, that 226 is also a floating target, by the way. It depends on actual price action, momentum of the stock, etc. Uh, in addition, I've got my layers here. I have a new layer out model coming real soon uh, that will be available hopefully within a week or two. We're just doing some final testing. Uh, but this is driven off many factors like your cost basis, your settings, whether you're bullish, bearish, or neutral. Also history, uh, you know, sharp ratio, recency bias, squeeze levels, and so forth. But these layer out levels is are the layers I expect us to have resistance over the next couple of years. So the first layer and this resistance level could also be a place where you take profit. So for example, for crypto, this would be geared around when to start taking money off the table or when to start hedging, where you could sell, you know, 20% at layer one or 35% at layer one and just get out and move to cash. So for Tesla, that would be $328, first layer, second layer, $381. Third layer, 466. Remember the all-time high for Tesla was about 420. So the 466 is above the all-time high, but remember it's a very different beast. The fundamentals get stronger every day, despite all the FUD that you read in mainstream media. And uh, just stepping out again, I had a great interview with Farzad uh, two days ago, and we discovered and discussed a million different things. But one of them was how lost Wall Street analysts are when they look at Tesla. They have no clue what it is. Even the people that I thought were the best in the business still lost and they missed the opportunity to pick it up. And they're still saying, oh, well, you know, margins could fall and there might be no demand. It's like, just wait and see. It's It's been the most sure thing I've ever seen. I'm more sure about Tesla than I am about Bitcoin, believe it or not. But getting back to the la layer three, that's out of the money. Layer four, we might not get to layer four for a couple of years, uh, 552 and layer five, $605. Remember, I'm extremely bullish in Tesla. And uh, this also has uh, on the chart, you'll see a couple of things. You see sell and buy arrows, but also you'll see a little green arrows, darker green arrows, which are the DCAS levels. They are when to buy and how much to buy and when not to buy based on what we call squeeze here. So that's kind of what this chart looks like. Now, when it comes to us getting to these layers, I don't care if it's six months from now or a year and a half from now, but we will be hitting many of these layers. What I do at them depends on where we are and it depends on whether other assets are available to swap into. And remember as well, I, I was I'm going to talk more about this in a minute, but I actually swapped Bitcoin into Tesla because I was more bullish on Tesla which caused a lot of groans in the audience. But again, I was out of cash, so I had to do something to get more.